Hello, my name is Lorenz Lam. I started my PhD half a year ago under the supervision of Dr. Tingying Peng from Helmholtz AI and Dr. Ben Engel from the Helmholtz Pioneer Campus. The project's aim is to develop deep learning methods to make the analysis of cryo-electron tomographies more efficient. And now I would like to tell you a story. One day, not too long ago, I was walking through the English garden. Of course, I was mainly thinking about work, but I also found some time to enjoy nature. Suddenly, my attention was drawn to a plant that I had not seen in this place the day before. It was a spinach plant, so I took a closer look. I was fascinated by its quick growth. I knew about the concept of photosynthesis and that it uses the energy of light to make plants grow. But I was not quite sure how the proteins that are involved in capturing the energy of light are organized on the membranes of the single plant cells. So I decided to take a sample of the spinach in order to make a cryo-electron tomography, or cryo-ET. For cryo-ET, you need to freeze your sample down very rapidly, so its structure is preserved. Then you put your sample under the electron microscope and take images from many different viewing angles. Finally, the 2D images can be put together to obtain a 3D volume depicting the sample in its native state. After this was done, the analysis could start. When analyzing the organization of proteins on the membranes, two things are important. First, we need to know the organization of the membranes. That means we need to have accurate 3D segmentations of these membranes. And second, we need to know where on the membranes the single proteins are located. Looking at the distribution of proteins on the membranes, it seemed to me that they were not spread randomly on the membranes. But to confirm that, one needs more sophisticated methods to analyze the tomograms than just by looking at them. So I decided to start coding. In this project, I'm trying to develop deep learning methods to make the analysis of cryo-electron tomographies more efficient. The first part of this project is to develop a method for the detection of membrane-bound proteins. For this, we have recently developed our own detection program, Membrane. Membrane is a deep learning based pipeline that utilizes the membrane geometry and delivers very good results with already a very small amount of training data, which is pretty hard to acquire in CryoET. In follow up projects, we will try to further develop our pipeline and tackle the accurate segmentation of membranes. There is still a lot more to discover. Let's see what the next walk through the park will bring.